Hi there, boys and girls. We are going to be talking today about um, Lesson 16-1, which is on classifying triangles. This is one of my favorite things to do in math, um, especially with geometry. Uh, if you hear some barking, that's because there's a puppy in here. So just ignore that. Um, we can actually, when you classify triangles, it's, it's two different things. Um, you can either talk about the lengths of the sides, or you can talk about the measure of the angles. And so an equilateral, equilateral triangle, uh, you can see that it has the root equal and lateral. Lateral meaning side. So equal meaning same side, all sides of the same length. Um, and fun fact on these, um, they're all the angles are all 60 degrees because 60 plus 60 plus 60 is 180. Um, an isosceles triangle has two sides that are same length. So usually we mark it like this with like little lines. So that means this side is the same length as this side. Or if you're drawing a triangle and you're like, listen, I know this isn't perfect, but I'm doing the very best that I can here. And this side is supposed to be the same length as this side. That's what that's about. And then a scalene has no sides the same length. Um, so you need to remember equilateral isosceles and scalene. This is on the back of page um, 852 in your math books. Um, and then the angles, we have a right triangle where one triangle is a right, or I'm sorry, one angle is a right angle. So like right here. Um, and acute has three triangles that are three angles that are acute. And obtuse has one angle that is obtuse. I had a kid one time who was just convinced that he could draw two obtuse angles in one triangle. And I was like, dude, if you can do it, I'll give you $100. And he was like, all right. And he spent like two days and he never could. Because when you draw an obtuse angle and then you try to draw another obtuse angle, you just never get back over. You can never make that into a three-sided figure or a triangle. So I remember that kid. His name was Dakota. Um, so there is that. Um, it says on the actual page right here, it says one triangle is shown below. Draw five more triangles with different properties. Um, you can do that if you want. Um, basically, it's just going to be all of these different types of triangles or what you're going to be drawing there. So if you want to practice those, you can. Um, and then you'll be ready to go on to our next lesson. So that is basic instruction for classifying triangles.